Hello, everybody, and welcome to another video on addition. In today's numeracy lesson, we are learning about addition strategies. In this video, we're going to learn multi-digit addition. A multi-digit number is just a number with more than one digit. Two-digit numbers use two number places. Like 32 has a 2 in 1's place and a 3 in 10's place. Have a look at this 3 digit number, 215. It has a 5 in 1's place, a 1 in 10's place and a 2 in 100's place. The first strategy that we're going to learn about today is split strategy. When using the split strategy, you partition numbers into their place value, add the place value separately and then combine the numbers to find the total sum. Have a look at this example and see how the numbers have been partitioned into their place value. The ones have been added separately and the tens have been added separately. But there are some easy steps how to use split strategy. So, the first step is to read your number sentence. 17 plus 22 equals. The second step is to circle the numbers that you're going to add. You can see the circles here. Step number three, split the numbers into tens and ones. So, 17 will be split into a 10 and a 7. 22 will be split into a 20 and a 2. Step number four, add the tens. So a 10 plus 20 equals 30. Then add the ones, seven plus two equals nine. And step number five, add the answers together. So the answer to your tens and the answer to your ones. That's a 30 plus nine equals 39. That was easy, wasn't it? Now let's try another example and see if we remember the steps. So the first step to use a split strategy is to read your number sentence. 14 plus 25 equals. Step two of split strategy is to circle the numbers. And you can see the numbers have been circled. The third step, split the numbers into tens and ones. So 14 would be split into a 10 and a four. 25 will be split into a 20 and a five. Step number four, add the tens first. So a 10 plus 20 equals 30. Then add the ones. Four plus five equals nine. And step number five, we add the answers together. So the tens and the ones that we've added. 30 plus nine equals 39. The next strategy that we're going to learn about today is compensation strategy. This strategy is used to make a number sentence easier to solve by rounding one or more of the add-ins to the nearest 10. For example, we can round number 19 to its closest 10 which is 20 by adding a 1. We can round number 31 to its closest 10 which is 30 by taking away 1. We can round number 97 to its closest 10, which is 100, by adding 3. When using compensation strategy to solve an addition problem, we can round one addend, or we can round both addends, or we can round all the addends if there's more than two numbers adding. Have a look at this example here where we're only going to round one addend, 49 plus 24. First, since 49 is so close to 50, we will add a 1 to round it to 50, but we'll leave 24 as it is. So the numbers that we're going to add now are 50 plus 24, and that's a bit easier since 1 is ending in 0. So 50 plus 24 equals 74, but since we added 1 extra to the original equation, we will have to subtract 1 from the final answer. So the final answer would be 74 minus 1, which is the one that we added to 49 to round it to 50. So 74 take away 1 equals 73, and that's our final answer. 
Let's have a look at another example and here we are going to round both addends, 28 plus 59. So we're going to round 28 to its closest 10, which is 30, by adding 2, and round 59 to 60, which is its closest 10, by adding a 1. So the new numbers that we have after rounding are 30 plus 60, which are easier to solve. So 30 plus 60 equals 90. Now for the last bit, since we added a 2 to 28 to round it and a 1 to 59 to round it to 60, we have added 3. Now we're going to take away that 3 from number 90. So 90 take away 3 equals 87 and that's our final answer. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please support me by subscribing and hitting the like button. Thank you.